Right now, there are people who are experiencing changes in their life. They're going through some things, things that they cannot explain. Many are having symptoms. See, we are connected to this planet Earth. We feed from it. We build from it. Our sensitivities to what happens on this planet are due to the fact that we are part of it. We are Earthlings, right? Any way you look at it, whether you believe in evolution or God, one thing that we can agree on is that we are the spawn of this planet. That's why they call God the Father and Earth the Mother. And everything that happens to this world, when things get stirred up, we get stirred up. When the earth gets agitated, so do we. You know, people say that many of us are out of touch with nature, and I can assure you that we are not. Granted, many of us do not live in harmony with nature, but we are not out of touch. Go ask the people of Texas if they are in touch with nature. Even when you think that we have become withdrawn, tuned out, the earth makes sure that we stay tuned in. Hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes. These things affect us globally along with something else. There is something else that is affecting people. It is subtle, but it is powerful. Yes, I am going to talk about frequencies, but more specifically, I am going to talk about the Schumann resonance. You know, the heartbeat of the earth. You know when people discuss earth changes, most people think of the weather, they think of climate change, they think of the destructive things. You do it too, don't you? Some people are more informed about these happenings than others, but the media keeps you informed, right? To a certain degree. They don't talk about the flowers blooming in the Atacama Desert. They don't talk about the new island formations around Indonesia. They don't talk about the changes in the atmosphere, the changes in resonance. Lately, within the last few years, you may have been experiencing sensations, headaches, hot flashes, tingling sensations, and itchiness. How many of you have had the experience of sitting somewhere? Maybe you were using a computer, watching television, reading a book, but something happened. You, for no reason at all, broke out into a sweat. Some of you have had sudden unexplainable mood swings, right? Spouts of anger. You've been going off on people you wouldn't normally go off on, and you don't know why. It's the earth. It is the sun. It is the moon. Cosmic energy, these things affect your brain. They affect your body. Now frequencies are measured in hertz. The hertz is the SI or International Systems unit of frequency, defined as one cycle per second. It is the number used to represent the vibration or oscillation of matter. Resonance occurs when a vibrating system causes the increase in amplitude of oscillation in another system. There are different types of resonance. But here, we will be focusing on one type in particular, the Schumann Resonance. So this was mathematically predicted and confirmed in the early 1950s by physicist and professor Winfried Otto Schumann. This is also known as the Global Electromagnetic Resonance, and it is referred to by the ancient Indian rishis as Om. You see, lightning strikes the Earth several million times per day. And what this lightning does is it emits high frequency electromagnetic radiation around 100 kilohertz into the cavity between the Earth's surface and ionosphere. Okay, so when this occurs, it excites the extremely low frequency 30 to 30 hertz portion of the electromagnetic field that surrounds the Earth, causing 
spikes in the electromagnetic wave. Several. Generally, the Schumann resonance frequency is 7.83 Hz, but there are about 8 Schumann frequencies ranging from 0.5 Hz to 45 Hz. And it can vary depending on location, and this should be taken into consideration when researching this. Now, to put what's happening into very simple terms, when lightning strikes, the Earth has a way of taking that energy and converting or transforming it. It is trying to balance the energy so that it can be used to its benefit, or should I say, to our benefit. Because we are the Earth. We are the living part of the Earth. Us. The plants, the animals, microscopic organisms. Well, maybe not all microscopic organisms or people, but you get it, right? So, this Schumann resonance, this rhythmic pulse, this frequency, 7.83 Hertz, is right in the range of brainwave frequencies. And so because of this, our brains adjust and tune into this frequency. It does this automatically. It's called entrainment. Consequently, there's a relationship between our brain waves, these extremely low frequencies, and good health, as well as ESP and psychic phenomena. Now understand that the Schumann resonance has been around at least since the beginning of mankind. So it is a normal part of life, and apparently lightning is the source of this. And so therefore, lightning, my friends, is essential for good mental and physical health. This frequency is associated with increases in HGH and blood flow levels to the brain, as well as supporting the nervous system's electroconductivity. I mean, can anyone theorize what would happen if lightning strikes stopped suddenly? Because look at what happens when you are subjected to other frequencies that are not human resonances. First of all, your brain emits frequencies ranging from 1 to 50 Hz. Your brain emits delta waves in the 1 to 6.66 Hz range. This is when you are in deep sleep. So at 6.66 Hz, yes, that's a frequency. At 6.66 Hz to 7.85 Hz, you are in the theta, which is associated with deep relaxation, a very meditative state. From 7.85 Hz to 12 Hz, you are in the alpha state, which is a calm, clear state of mind. But at this point, you are either waking up or falling asleep, as this state is associated with the sleep-wake cycle. Beta waves are considered to be frequencies ranging from 12 to 30 Hz, which is the state we spend most of our waking hours in. When you get into the higher gamma range, you are in a heightened state of awareness or consciousness. You are at your peak and this is when ideas really start to flow and you are processing large amounts of data. Anything below delta, you're probably dead. Anything above gamma, you're probably dead. Or you've turned into some type of electrical spirit. Now that natural Schumann pulse can be attributed to maintaining good health, but what happens when you are hit with pulses of other frequencies? You may have heard of the CIA or the British government being able to use microwave technology to control, manipulate, and even kill people. Using frequencies like 4.5 Hz to induce paranoia and cancer, 6.66 Hz to induce depression, or 11.3 Hz to send someone into a manic rage, resulting in mindless violence. Now you could call the government using frequency weapons a conspiracy theory, but the effects these frequencies have on the mind and body are probably not. Recently, there have been reported spikes in the Schumann resonance. Back in 2014, there was a spike from 7.83 to around 15 to 25 Hertz. And earlier this year, January 31st, there was a spike recorded to be over 36 Hertz. There was another spike in February, and on May 8th, it jumped to over 110 Hertz. On April 17th, it shot back up to 90 Hertz. So what's happening? I don't know, you tell me. Take your pick. You've got HARP, you've got CERN, and other facilities like them all over the world. Some people blame the sun or cosmic rays. 
It's been abnormally hot in many places, and at the same time, the moisture in the atmosphere has increased, which could make the Earth's atmosphere a better conductor of electrical current, leading to huge lightning strikes, possibly leading to surges in the Schumann resonance. It could be due to volcanism. Whatever the reason for these spikes, folks, it is probably some force we cannot stop or some people we cannot control. One thing you should keep in mind is that it has been suggested that as the Schumann resonance affects us, our brains affect it. Think about it. We are living in a time of high anxiety, stress, and aggression. Oh yeah. So with so many people putting out this energy, it's hard for me to believe that our thoughts and feelings are not affecting nature. Now I know that some of you suspect that we are ascending into a higher state of consciousness. We are becoming more, some type of super being. And that very well may be the case. I don't know what you are going to turn into, but I will say this. People have been reporting what they sense to be time speeding up. Which makes sense because the faster you move, the faster time moves. Relatively. So if your cellular frequencies, your brainwave frequencies go up, then oscillation increases. So then everything is vibrating faster. So how high do these frequencies have to be before your brain literally burns up? You know, if these spikes in the Schumann resonance continue, you may want to seriously consider improving your health and start implementing a strategy for reducing the amount of EMF exposure to your body. Use EMF protectors. Turn off and unplug unused electronics. Detox. Improve your diet. Find ways to relax your mind so that you can become more grounded. Sound is very significant when it comes to neutralizing these frequencies. I suggest looking into the use of binaural beats and subtle energy sciences. I truly do hope that what's happening with the Schumann Residence will turn out to be a good thing. I truly do. However, in case it does not, at least your awareness of it can help you to get through it. As the majority of you should feel good knowing that you still may be able to retain power and control, not of nature, but over your mind.